Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mr Barmore. I'm Head of uh, Computing and Enterprise here at Ladybridge High School. Uh, this is my third video. Um, uh, my first video is about six minutes, my second video is eight minutes. Um, so I'm hoping that this doesn't go any longer than eight minutes, but um, I, I still think it's important that I try and cover all the important points so that you're in a position to make an informed decision about your options come option time. Okay. So, um, as well as computer science and enterprise, we've got uh, Cambridge National in Creative Eye Media available. Okay, this is a, a completely brand new course that we're offering. It's not been taught before. You will be you will be the first students, the first learners to to go through this. Um, so, what will you study? Okay, the qualification will assess the application of creative media skills through their practical use. Okay, now that's the key thing here. This is a very practical uh, course. Okay, you'll be using lots of different types of software. Okay, so if you're very hands on and you like to be creative, then this might be the course for you. Okay, um, it encourages independence, creativity, and awareness of the digital media sector. All right, even though it's um, quite IT heavy in terms of you're going to use a lot of different types of software. The whole course is based around media. Okay, and you know media. Media is anything that has sound, image, animation, interaction. Okay, so that is media. Okay, so um, when we are doing the work, you'll find that uh, when you do do your uh, creative work, it will be based around some sort of media topic. Okay. Um, what I'd like to also point out is that um, the Cambridge National is also suitable for people who are um, high attaining learners. Okay. In fact, it's suitable for anyone. Okay. Uh, it is up it's it's in your hands on how well you can do okay we will teach you the skills we will teach you the theory but then you using your creativity can it, it's limitless you can do whatever you you can within the limit of the software and hardware that you have available okay um it is more related to the world of media so in terms of production in terms of advertising that type of thing rather than um, IT related to spreadsheets and databases and PowerPoints, okay. It's very much um, a practical uh, type of course, okay. So there are two mandatory units, two units that you have to do, okay. The first one is pre-production skills. So this is all about your... Um, uh storyboarding and your planning on how to, to to do something okay and it's marked as an exam and it's a one hour 15 minute exam okay and then it's marked by ocr the other mandatory unit that you have to do is a unit called creating digital graphics and the easiest way i can explain this is logos okay and this is about uh, 10 hours worth of work. And the scenario is is given by OCR. And they then moderate it and then they mark it. Okay. As well as that, we then have the choice of doing any of these two units. Okay. Um, so we've got digital videoing, photography, gaming developing a game, digital animation, interactive multimedia, uh, sound, creating sound sequence, or like, um, you know, like a, a, a tune for, for something, uh, an introduction for something, 2D and 3D digital characters, storytelling in a comic strip, and creating a multi-page website. So we, we, we can do any of them, okay? But um, we will make that decision when we, we know the class. 
you know, and as a class, we will make that decision. Okay. We want to teach you what you want to learn. So if the most of the class, uh, for example, want to do web page, uh, creating web pages, we will do that. Okay. And if then you want to do digital photography, we will do digital photography. All right. Um, and also there is the opportunity, let's just say that you're really, really keen on doing digital animation. At this moment, I'm, I'm not sure how things are going to be next year, but if the opportunity for after school clubs is available, I will be holding clubs after school for you to be able to do those other units in your own time. OK, because you may just have that interest. Um, the you you've like I've, I've said before there's a lot about uh pre-production of uh of acts graphic manipulation website design storyboard storyboarding um you must have a creative mind and flair okay that will be useful and in terms of future what can you do in the future um it opens up a lot of uh, doors in the creative industries such as television, radio, film, video, digital media, computer games, uh, journalism, writing and publishing and uh, public relations and media practice. Okay so hopefully that covers everything that uh, you might uh, find interesting and hopefully that will give you information about uh, whether you would like to pick this course or not. Again, any questions, feel free to email me and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. Okay, thank you, bye.